All right, YouTube. Now we got a uh, Schlag BE365 uh, deadbolt here, and it's got a dead battery, and I don't know the code. So I'm going to show you how to get the programming code so you can change the code, and we'll replace the battery on it. So first thing to do, of course, is just to flip your door around, and you just need a number two uh, Phillips screwdriver for this entire job. That's literally all you need. And so I'm using a drill here, but you can just use a hand screwdriver. It's uh, totally fine. And you got two screws, one here, one here. It's going to take them out. And set them aside for right now. All right, and the whole back is just going to come off. And you got our battery. So be careful disconnecting these because uh, sometimes the leads can actually break on them. So you want to be kind of careful taking it off. So we're going to unhook our battery. And if we're changing the battery, simply just snap a new battery in and you're done. But I don't know the programming code or the code to this, so we're going to have to go a little bit further. So there's a tiny little plug right here. Uh, we can uh, see right here the little plug. And once again, be careful unplugging it that you don't break it, but it does just unplug. And then we've got two screws here. These are your deadbolt screws, the same kind of things you'd have on a you know, normal non-electronic deadbolt. And so we're going to go ahead and pull those out and hold the uh, front of the lock when you do this. All right, so we got those bolts out. And then the whole back of this is just gonna come off. And you get a, the uh, wire out here. So pretty simple. And then now here's the uh, magic here. You have a sticker on the back of this and most of your Schlag electronic locks are going to have this. And you have your programming code and then the uh, default codes. So I'm gonna just snap a picture of it so I've got it for the future. All right, now that I've got it here, I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the lock. And then we will uh, actually delete the default codes out of there. And I'm going to program my own top secret code. So we actually got our tailpiece here. And I'm just going to put it together the same way we took it apart. So we're just going to slide the tailpiece through our bolt here. Actually slide the wire through the top as well so you can plug it back in. All right. And we'll take our back piece. Now on the back piece, there is a little uh, thing right here. Uh, this thing actually turns. You need to make sure that it's pointing down like this. There's an arrow here that it lines up with. You need to make sure it's pointing down when you put it back together or you're gonna get real fr real uh, frustrated with it. And uh, so just make sure, like I said, that that's pointing down. And uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and feed our cable back through. like so and our tailpiece will go through the little cross there We've got plenty of cable and then we're simply just going to install our bolts in the same way we took them off and they recommend not using an electric screwdriver for this because you, you don't want to over tighten them because the lock will actually bind I'm just going to snug them up. If I was doing this on a real door, I normally would put them in like that. And then I will actually uh, just take a hand screwdriver to uh, finish tightening them. And then, then we're going to just plug our plug back in. It can only go one way. Uh, make sure you pay attention so you put it in the right way because you can bend the little pins on this. So we're just going to uh, plug that in. And now we're ready to put our new battery in. And I recommend not using a Walmart battery. I recommend using a quality battery. But once again, this is just a display here, so it's not a big deal. And now that our battery's hooked up, we're ready to put our back piece back on. And you see here that this can only fit on the tail piece one way. So you just want to just turn it in the way that it's going to fit. All right, and it should fit on there flush. You should be able to operate the bolt. And then we'll just replace our uh, screws that we took out in step number uh, 
step number two here. I guess step one was turning the door around. You know, going to tighten these down. Snug them up. All right, now that's done, we can flip our door around again. And uh, lock should actually beep now, so we can actually lock it. And that's one of the default codes. We could punch that in and actually unlock it. So I pull my picture up. Uh, so one of the default codes here was 9370. So if I type 9370, here. Now, you know what? The lock is not defaulted. So whatever the old code is is still in there. These default codes are gone. So in that case, we're going to do a uh, reset on this and just clear all the codes out of the system. So the way you do that, you've got a programming code. And you can Google BE365 manual and you'll find these instructions, but I've done this so much here that I know how to do it. I'm just going to make sure the lock's unlocked. And I'm going to type in the programming code, so 249638. Push the slag button, push 6. I'm going to type in the code one more time, 249638. Now the long beep and it turns green, what that's indicating is now all the user codes are wiped from this. So now there's no user code in here at all. So now I need to put in my own top secret code. So the way we're gonna do that, type in the programming code, two, four, nine, six, three, eight. Push slag, we're gonna push one. And now we're gonna type in the new top secret code twice. So our don't pay attention here, I don't want anyone to know this. Okay, I'm gonna type it in again. And long uh, turns green and a uh, long beep, which indicates that it accepted it. So now if we were to push slag, lock it, and then type in our new top secret code. And we can now unlock it, and that's going to be the only code that is now in this thing is just that code. Now, like I said, you can also Google BE365 manual, and the instructions are online. It's all pretty clear. You just have to get that programming code. So uh, if you like this, uh, you know, subscribe, share all that stuff. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can put them in the comments. I, I tend to answer everything. And I also got an email address if you want to drop me an email. And uh, really, that's all I got for this video. Till next time, we will talk to everybody later.